In the film Avengers Infinity War, Thanos is unquestionably the most powerful character. He beats up the Hulk when he only has one Infinity Stone, he beats the Guardians of the Galaxy, Spider-Man, Iron Man and even the Sorcerer Supreme with relative ease, taking very minimal amounts of damage. All that for a drop of blood. In fact, the only one who gives him any trouble is Thor. Now, Thor may have been beaten in the first fight with Thanos at the beginning of the film, but with his new magical axe, he nearly defeats Thanos. So basically, the only real threat to Thanos we've seen so far in the whole of the MCU is Thor, who is the only one who can even come close to matching his strength and the power of the Infinity Stones. Which beggars the question, why didn't Thanos kill Thor? He is literally the only real threat to Thanos in the entire universe. So why not wipe him out along with everyone else when he snaps his fingers? Or even before he snaps his fingers? Well, it could be that he doesn't want to wipe out the last Asgardian. He does supposedly believe in balance of life in the universe. But since he killed all of Thor's people and basically wiped out the Asgardian race, this seems unlikely. In fact, there is only one logical reason that I could think of. You see, Thanos is an honourable man. He's a complete psycho, yes, there's no denying that, but he does believe in honour and he does keep his word. When he made a deal with Doctor Strange to spare Tony Stark, he spared him and didn't kill him with the finger snap like he killed everyone else who attacked him, because he keeps his word. And the same is true of Gamora's sister. He didn't outright say that he would spare her from the finger snap, but it was implied and he did say to keep her safe, so he spared her as well. And in the beginning of the film, Thanos made a deal with Loki. He agreed to spare Thor in exchange for the Infinity Stone. And so when he did the snap, he kept his word and he let Thor live. And this is the only reason that makes any sense, because Thor is without a doubt Thanos' biggest threat. After all, he did nearly kill Thanos. But because he considers himself honourable, Thanos kept his word, even if Thor is the biggest threat. Not to mention that with the Infinity Stones, Thanos probably considers himself undefeatable, even if Thor is crazy powerful in this film. After all, Thor did hurt him, yes, but Thanos still escapes and still carries out his mission with relative ease. Though when Thor attacks Thanos in the second part of the Avengers films, well, I doubt Thanos will spare him then. But we'll have to wait and see how the second part of Infinity War goes down. Of course, it could also be that Thanos has some sort of subconscious suicidal wish and that he wants the Avengers to beat him and restore the universe. But considering all Thanos' sacrifice to get the Infinity Stones and carry out his mission, that doesn't really make any sense. So to my mind, it has to be the deal with Loki that led to Thanos sparing Thor. But what do you think? Do you agree with my theory on why Thor is still alive? Or do you think there is another reason that Thor was spared from the finger snap? Be sure to let us know in the comments and I should say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.